Josh and Jonathan and all those guys was a part of that. But um, a lot of the guys here now are fairly new. Um, and Trey Matthews and different things like that. So, but uh, those guys, they, they've been beaten. And, and they know, you know, um, everywhere you go around in town, we got to get better in defense, um, particularly the secondary. And um, that's fine. I, I have no problem with that. We, we, we're ready for the challenge. Um, we, we're going to continue to get better. We're going to go out there. We're going to compete. We're going to put our best foot forward. We're going to work on the little things. We're going to take care of fundamentals and different things like that. And I think with that being said, we'll, we'll, we'll be fine. You talked about this defense. What What's going to look different for people when they watch this Auburn defense in 2015? Be fast, be aggressive, be physical. <coughs> The thing that we kind of instill in our guys is you know, we're going to have a hard hat mentality, a blue collar mentality all the way. Um, we're going to bring our lunch pail to work. We're going to go out there. We're going to be as talented as everybody we play, but we're going to work harder than everybody we play. And if that's the case, um, with an offense like the one we have, which is a really, really good offense to go against and practice against on a day to day basis, um, it's, I'm, I'm excited at what's, what's up to come. See, Rob, just talk about being back here and what that means to you. Like I said, man, it, it's it's an amazing opportunity, man, for me um, personally. Um, always wanted to be a coach. Um, never really thought I was a good enough player to go to the NFL. Had an opportunity to go to the NFL and um, stayed for a couple of years, but always wanted to be a coach. So always set in meetings and, and, and thought of things from a coach's aspect as opposed than a player's aspect. So just learning the entire defense, not just learning my position. So just having a chance to come back at my alma mater um, and a lot of the same people here, man. So just getting to see some of you guys that I've been knowing since I was a freshman in college. I, I mean, same deal, you know, we became a media day of two hall. And um, I remember those things and um, I'm excited to be here and obviously it means the world to me. Do you think you uh Save Tuberfield from one of the worst losses in history oh, you when you were about there recovered that ball. Yeah, you remember that, don't you? Who was that? We were playing Appalachian State. Appalachian State, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tell you what, you know what? Coach Knox um, used to make us do um, fumble recovery drills all the time. And I always asked him, man, I know how to recover a fumble. Why do we practice doing that? Never thought that it would be a heck of a deal in the game to go, go back and forth. But, you know, it was a. It, it was a Got lucky, I guess, man. But it was, I talked to him about that all the time. Obviously, I worked with Coach Tuberville when he was at Texas Tech. And then um, I said, man, you wouldn't even be around. <laughs> no, I mess around with Tucker all the time. So just seeing him, I mean, I remember when I was playing, he used to ride around on a golf cart right. in the middle of the field. You know, it's, it's just, it's, I'm excited to be back. Is it something you thought about all along that, that one day you would like to get back? I did. Job? I did. Um, I was a little down when um, Coach Chiswick got the job because I was hoping, but I wasn't ready, you know, and, and that's the way the Lord works, you know, to whom much is given, much is required. And then also, you know, everything happens at the right time, and, you know, and I wasn't ready to come back in. And um, just spending some more time kind of being on my own, away from Will, um, learning some things differently, and then getting a chance to kind of reunite with Will at Florida for the last four years then now have an opportunity to come back with him it, it just it's, it's the right time and um obviously man i, I like i said i i'm, I'm ecstatic to, to be here um coach malzahn has been great for me um just being around him man of god man of character and um, him helping me grow not only as a person but also as a coach as well so i mean it's it's, it's, it's great when you're inheriting when, when a new staff comes in and generally doesn't inherit that much experience all the time like you get an all SEC corner in Jones, a guy who's multi-year starter in Holsey, mm -hmm. leading tackler on the team in Ford, and Matthews who start, you know, started as a freshman in Georgia. That's a pretty nice group to walk into. What have you seen just from those four four guys? Good, yeah, man. Um, um, John is going through some deals, so he hadn't been practicing much with us. Um, Josh is doing a great job. We moved him from safety back to corner, which he played his freshman year. And um, he's doing a great job, man. The guy's strong, he's fast, he got ball skills down the field, and he's very, very sweet. Um, Rudy obviously can fly. Um, got great top end speed, tough dude. Um, he got a, um, a, a passion for the game. Um, he's always in the office, he's always around, trying to get better with his craft. And then Trey is a specimen of dude, man. Big dude, that got great energy and a tough guy. He's going to be a heck of a leader for us back there. We've seen Tim Urban on the field mm -hmm. very quick. I know he's got the hand injury now, but what made you guys think that a true freshman who's been here for you know, two weeks basically can, can walk in and do that immediately? You know what, man? He can learn. Uh, he got great coverage ability, and uh, we knew it during the recruiting process. Um, obviously, we was on him when we were at Florida, and um, when this thing came about, you know, he was a guy that we got in contact with immediately. And, um, 
came down on a visit and, and he had the same kind of feeling that I got, you know, that this is a place that he can come in and be successful and be successful early. You know, obviously, we didn't have a guy because we had kind of a different type position as that. Um, it was like a little spur or whatever you call that position they had in the past. It was a bigger body. Uh, now we need more of a cover body that's able to blitz and do different things like that and have good zone and man instincts. And um, he fits the mold for that pretty good. With T.J. Davis going down, is Cameron Melton the third corner and then who's the fourth now? Yeah. The right, now right now, um, Stephen Roberts is, is, is doing a great job for us. Um, and a local kid who's, who's turning the corner. Um, you know, started off slow and now it's picking it up as we kind of move down the stretch. And um, he's going to be a good football player for us. Um, Cameron, those guys, they just got to continue to get better. Right now, they ways away, but they continue to get better on a day-to-day -day basis. But right now, we, we, we just got to keep kind of progressing and see where we are. But Steven would be the third guy right yeah, now? Yeah, right now. Probably Steven. Do you, you expect to be able to do some stuff like that, too? And down the expect to take a quick look at some freshmen? Yeah, we'll have to. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have to. We'll have to do that, and um, that was part of the deal in the recruiting process. You know, right now we just lack numbers. Um, right now, I've just come out an individual. I mean, we right now working with four, maybe five corners. You know, what I mean, typically we like to have seven, eight corners that can go out and you know can execute and play the way we play. I mean, we're gonna need some guys that can finish down the field. I was gonna say, so I mean, it goes without saying to football in general, but I mean, that group for you really can't afford another loss. No. That TJ loss was a really yeah, significant blow. Right. That's right. That's right, but you know things happen, man. And obviously, if we if, it, if we can control it, it wouldn't happen. You know, because he was doing a lot, lot better, man. He was doing a good job for us. But at the end of the day, things happen, and our motto is, you know, what I mean, man down, man up. You know what I mean? So another guy got to step up, and once he step up, we'll be ready to roll. Well, we heard you on Tuesday before the practice saying you weren't pleased with some of the speed. Was that in reference to the scrimmage? And what what were what what didn't you see that? You That's right. Wanted? You know, sometimes you know, like Coach Muschamp always tell our guys, it ain't really what they think; it's what we think. For me, as a coach, it ain't really what I think; it's what Coach Muschamp think. <laughs> but Coach Muschamp, it ain't really what he think; it's what Coach Miles on thinks. But Coach Miles on, it ain't what he think; it's what Jay Jacobs think. <laughs> so until you own something, you know what I mean? It's what the person thinks. That's on top of you. And um, so just trying to tell our guys, I'm, I know we had a decent scrimmage. I know to everyone's eyes we played really good and all that kind of stuff. But when I watch it, I don't see that. I see us, we had more to give and we didn't give it. So is it possible you may have been playing bad cop to Must him good cop in the assessment? Sometimes we start off saying he'll be the bad cop, I'll be the good cop, and then injury will be bad cop, bad cop, or he'll be good cop, good cop. So depending on the day, man, but me and him kind of always on the same page and uh, we have a healthy healthy relationship and uh, it, it's it, it's been it works wonderful he's not off on the good cop is it nah nah nah, nah, <laughs> nah nah but you know what you know um he learned a lot as a head coach like i watched him grow as a head coach and uh, man, i tell you what man he learned a lot and you can see all the stuff that you know the, the development of him as a uh, football coach and as a person and all that kind of stuff kind of coming together pretty good, man. So uh, I'm just excited to be a part of what he's doing, um, a part of what we're doing. And um, obviously we're excited to be here with Coach Malzahn and kind of get this thing rolling. Look all, all the way back to 1999, yeah. you decided to, to come from Miami to, to Auburn mm -hmm. to play for a guy that's just got here. Mm -hmm. uh, what? Let's talk about what led you to do that. <laughs> Coach Graham was recruiting me, and uh, he was recruiting me at Ole Miss first. And, uh, I didn't know anything about you know, Southeastern football for the most part. I grew up in Miami. Uh, I like the Hurricanes, the Noles, and the Gators. I mean, that's kind of who you like when you're down there. And um, I, <laughs> I, he, he called me one day. He was at Ole Miss, and I said, oh, man, I ain't coming to no Mississippi to play no football. Well, a couple of weeks later, he took the job here at Auburn. Me not even knowing what Auburn was, to be quite honest. Um, I told him I'll come on a visit and um, came down on a visit, not even knowing it was in Alabama. I thought it was in Georgia. Um, landed um, and um, told him it was in Alabama. Oh, My grandfather told me I don't know about Alabama. <laughs> so it was it was a heck of a deal, man, and um, it, was, it was great for us, man. And, and I loved it. I came down on my visit. And I got the feeling that we talked to the recruits about. You know, I got that funny, tingly feeling in my heart that this is the place for me. And um, 
all my other buddies was going to Miami, Andre Johnson of the world, and all those guys, and um, was trying to get me to go with them there. And um, I just knew this was the place for me. And like I tell the guys, man, ain't a four-year decision, it's a 40-year decision. And if I would have went to Miami, I probably wouldn't be coaching right now. I dang sure probably wouldn't be at um, Auburn University coaching. So when you start to look at that, it was a great decision for me. When you uh, when you talk to your players, I mean, it took you it took you a while to find your place. I mean, from receiver to cornerback to safety. That's right. uh, do you talk to them about that? About the, the sometimes right. you know sometimes you have to you. you it, it takes a while. That's right, man. That's that's life. You know, you trials and tribulations. Came as a receiver, um, then moved me to corner. Um, then got hurt my junior year, and then didn't really get a, a great opportunity until my senior year when Coach Chisholm came and was right. the coordinator and uh, moved me to safety and was all SEC and all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, just, but I always played really good on special teams. I was always a good dude in the community, and, um, and that's the one thing that I tell them, man. Being cool ain't cool no more. Nobody care about a cool guy. So they just want you to be a good guy, you know what I mean? And we're going to have a bunch of good guys around here that's doing the right thing and handling their business in the right way in a first-class manner, then we're going to be fine, you know, and those, those guys are doing they're taking a conscious effort of getting out in the community, doing things. They're taking a conscious effort of uh, perfecting their craft and going out there and playing really, really good. What is the dimension of the